and back pain. We all know it's super horrible, no question about that, but is there something we can do to prevent it? Of course there is. Spine surgeon Dr. Melamed is here with the answers how to keep your spine young just in time for World Spine Day when we come back. And your heart Tomorrow is World Spine Day. We've invited the board-certified surgeon, Dr. Human Melamed, to give us tips on how to keep our spines as strong and healthy as possible. Hey, tomorrow is World Spine Day. It's a time for everybody to focus on the 33 stacked bones with muscles and ligaments that keep us upright and moving. Yeah, and Dr. Human Melamed is a board-certified spine surgeon. He's here to walk us sort of through those crucial life in which we can actively make changes to keep our spine strong and healthy. Thanks for being here. I was doing yoga once and someone said to me, the um, spine, you're only as young as your spine. And I think it's so true, but it's a lifetime commitment. Absolutely it is. You know, I get asked a lot, like, what can I do one activity? It is no such thing as one activity or one thing. It's, I like to look at it as a lifestyle commitment to it mm. you know more of a holistic approach it's a combination of diet is very critical now mm. we're learning exercise properly and getting in good habits from early on to set those habits because you know if you don't have bad habits you don't have to break them as we right. get older all right well let's talk about the decades in your 20s what is happening to one's spine so if you look at the spine here the discs here we have a spine model this is our last disc, this is the pelvis here, the last disc, this is the bone here, the vertebrae, the bone, the disc, and the cushion. These are the shock absorbers or the cushion. The degeneration process really starts in our, in our actually in our, 20, in our 20s, and it's very critical to get in those good habits like I was talking about. So it's critical to get into a good cardio program, mm -hmm. a good uh, Pilates, yoga, um, weightlifting program, you know, ec involving all the muscles, like your fast twitch, slow twitch, intermediate, you know, get into good habits, start doing this. And also the diet, getting on an anti-inflammatory diet, mm. avoiding dairy, avoiding gluten, basically, uh, right. turmeric, ginger, all those things, you know, <laughs> getting in a good avoid. diet, get the habits, you know, because if you have a good anti-inflammatory diet, it prevents inflammation in your body, yeah. and that actually uh, helps to prevent this degeneration. So goes on. Smoking is another thing. Smoking Ooh. ages your Stop. spine like Don't crazy. point at me! Oh, that is smoking like, ages the spine. No. Smoking yeah, is really bad. So these are habits that pipes, starts, yeah. all sorts of things. So these are what sets it. Well, in your 30s, too, people get a lot, a very active weekend warrior. Weekend and, warrior. You know, he plays Absolutely. basketball. Like it's, it's a lot, but is I'm that good 30s, or bad? So. That's, that's very bad. I see so many injuries. What do you mean it's because, very bad? It's weekend warrior. You basketball in your 30s? Basketball is great, but don't do it just on Saturday or Sunday. You got to keep it consistent like four times a week. You got to do the exercise. That makes sense. You know, uh, what about uh, 40s? You, what about water, water, water? 40s, you know, it's about the, the remember, the degeneration process is mm. continuing. So being obviously very uh, hydrated, you know, stretching is going to become critical, especially stretching after you exercise. It's like counterintuitive, but stretching is very critical afterwards to keep the muscles and joints uh, basically from getting sore um, afterwards. And there is no reason why you can't compete at a very, very high level, like triathlete, mm -hmm. very high exercise at that age. Mm. If you do everything properly, getting up at work, a lot of people become sedentary. Yeah. You gotta get up. Like you yeah. know, get people like a standing standing desk. Move. Moving, move, move, yeah. move. Become very active. And when you become fifty specific, specifically for women, osteoporosis becomes a problem, doesn't it? Um, uh, absolutely in terms of it is. Your... Absolutely it is. So that that's why I say if you go back to your twenties, if you do this stuff properly, the proper nutrition, you avoid the osteoporosis. We get older, we gotta be careful about the high impact mm -hmm. activities. You know, if you're running, a lot of people running, no problem. Run on soft surfaces on grass, like rubber, on the sand, the cement, the pounding is not Well, let me ask good. you, so, I mean, I, I'm, I'm right between my 40s and 50s, so let's just say. And I play basketball once or twice a week. Yeah. <laughs> once or twice a week on on wood. Is there, am I killing myself? Is it horrible for me or am I okay? Once or twice a week, no, it's fine. But I mean, once or twice a basketball is not good because you're more injured. If you're not doing some kind of a yoga, Pilates, plyometric, you know, with the TRX, like okay. balance training and stuff like yeah. that, those are what actually what keeps keeps you really your dynamic stabilizers, your muscles, it keeps your back from getting huh. injured. And, and on that note, I think about like 60s and even my parents in their 70s and like sometimes I've almost tripped downstairs before. If your core is not strong and your lower back and back not strong, then you're gonna fall. Absolutely, it is. And you know, the other thing is that we get older is what people don't realize that I have a knee injury. Mm. If you don't take care of that, you're more risk of uh, spine problems, yeah. mm. hip problems. These are all connected. It's a big chain. It's like having a symphony 
one person in the symphony kind of doing their own thing. The whole thing is not going to look If good. you're like Sam, you're like, you know, between 55 and 60, yeah. and you're approaching 60. Is there anything that you could say specifically to Sam Rubin? And you've seen his body type. <laughs> yeah. I would say Stay strong. <laughs> Uh, Sam, I mean, the, I would say if you're not doing Pilates, you should be doing Pilates. I'm a big proponent of that. You do Yoga therapy. and a good diet, basically, on that. All right, good and diet. Their theory. He, he works out a lot, actually. Sure he does. Sam's but good proper at workout it. techniques Sam, also. Sam, I got your back. Proper <laughs> workout techniques is critical. Uh, Doc, good to see you. All these tips you, uh, posted on KTLA.com. For more information about uh, Dr. Human Melamed and his advice for a strong and healthy spine and back, go to thespinepro.com. Yes, I like it. Thank, Thank you, you so sir. much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks. All right, coming up, it's opening day of the OC Auto Show. And you know